What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Unfortunately, we are still, well, maybe fortunately, but we are still here at Sangman's house. We are in New Jersey. If you guys missed the last couple of videos, then you know the damage that was caused to the Mustang on the way back. <laughs> It is unfortunate, but you know what? We're gonna get through it and it tells a story. But yes, we have Sting Mode's Black Mama right in front of me and it is absolutely just beautiful, but something is missing. We don't have Carnage over here. We don't have my red Mustang, but what we do have is Motor Fire and he stopped by. So What's up, people? he's got an awesome, he's being shy right now. Uh, he has an awesome channel, go check him out. Don't hate on him, he's got a Gen 6 Camaro. I do, I do. But you have something special going on with it. I do. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna hop in the daily over here. He's got this. Is Listen, how much horsepower? Puts down a lot of power. I was right? gonna ask how much horsepower. It puts down about one twenty. One twenty. I was <laughs> gonna say like a thousand, but <laughs> no, one twenty horsepower and about one sixty seven torque. If I oh, correctly. oh, big numbers here. So we're gonna hop in the Kia here. We're gonna take a ride. We're gonna go to EFX, correct? That's correct. EFX. We're gonna go to EFX twenty. We're gonna have some fun today. I hear that they have uh, some badass builds over there. They do, man. When you see the cars outside, it's going to be nuts. Oh, man. So like, there's literally cars with like no hoods and bumpers outside. Ooh, I'm excited. And turbo sticking out. So. All right. So we're going to take advantage of a bad situation. We're going to hop in the car, hop over to the EFX, and he's going to show us what he's got going on and then take a look around and have some fun. Yep. Absolutely. So let's go. It's sticking out the window. Yeah. His foot is out of the window in the driver's seat. Are you what? kidding me? And what are you doing? Do you see that? You're in an accident waiting to happen. Good job, guy. I don't know whether to call him an asshole or a boss. Yeah, I know. It's like <laughs> I can't do that. I can't stick my foot up that high. It wouldn't even been that far. Yeah. Oh my god. What? Hey, dude. Yeah, we're on. gonna see. I'm, if gonna, we can... I'm gonna pull up next to this guy. Hold on, hold on. Let me hurry up. No, no, no. Let me hurry up. Uh, can we get it? Can we get it? Dude, you're a. Boss, it is. It is. Bro. Look at it. He looked at us too. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? I've never seen anything like that. That. That is quite possibly the most amazing thing I've seen in a long time. Wow. Dude, I kind of want to wave to the... Like, yeah, you're, you're, like you're a boss, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, yellow Camaro. I'm just like a squirrel. Like, <laughs> that, that's awesome. Wow. Stangwell's got to see that, man. He's going to be like... Yeah, we'll slow it down the video. Dude, so you Stang, guys Stang that's your people, bro. That's Jersey. Like, that's, <laughs> that's not us. I'm New York and he's Tennessee, so you can't, you can't blame us for that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. I cannot believe that just happened. Oh my god, that's awesome. That's good video right there. That's, oh, absolutely. That's, that's good video. Oh, there we go. This is the uh, the Brown Mama Stanglage Brown Mama upgraded. Brown Mama. He's got he's got two. new wheels on it. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. The stickers give a few uh, few horsepower. <laughs> Stickers do add horsepower for real. That's they, a real they thing. They really do. I know that's a real I did, thing. I did racing stripes on mine and it made it go 11 too. That is actually a good possibility. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, he's, he's, look he's, at he's it. Get it. Off. Yeah. Listen, this Nero's fast, bro. Don't don't try to tempt me. <laughs> hey, if you're a subscriber to the channel, I like the wheels. That's <laughs> Yeah, that's real talk. That's Dave's car, G8. All right, here we go. If you guys watch his channel, you're familiar with this car, but if you're not, this is it. It's my baby. You have a name for this, right? What is that? Just call it the Beast. The Beast? Yep. Oh, look at that engine. Golly, that thing is massive, dude. Yeah. Oh my God. What does that make? Like zero horsepower? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's all, you know, weight reduction. That's, yeah, all, that's, that's all it is. Weight reduction. <laughs> 100%. Absolutely. That's why I told you when, uh, you know, when your car was hurt, like it is now, I feel your pain. Yeah. It's because this, you know, seeing this is not exactly the easiest thing in the world. Oh, um, you, I was having a good day until you brought that back up. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm you're sorry. fine. <laughs> no. So yeah, sometimes bad things happen. You had problems. So you're yeah. not just getting an upgrade. You actually had the issues with Yeah. Those. Yeah. I had, I spun a rod bearing and cylinder too. Yeah. That's, that's the reason why. And we took it as an opportunity to basically say, all right, screw it. We're just going to make this thing bulletproof now. Yeah. I'm and that's what we did. So full forge bottom end is coming. Um, it's got stage two cam in it, you know, stock heads, ported manifold, ported throttle body. I mean, the whole works. Converter going in the transmission. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good time. Um, oh. She's almost there, almost there. That is a nightmare right here. It does hurt, you know, <laughs> going around the back of the car, not seeing exhaust tips is, is pretty painful. Yeah. But uh, 
She's gonna come back better than ever. Yep. There's a uh, Instagram plug right there. Good old Instagram plug. But I like this the, the one LA wing. Yeah. Yeah, I got the whole. I mean, the whole style. Yep. Style. Yeah. Yeah. You got the the, the rockers here and all that. Yeah, I like this stuff. I'm actually a big Camaro fan, believe it or not. Yeah. I have a, a primarily Mustang channel, but I actually have a soft spot in my heart for... I try to tell people I like both, you know what I mean? But Mustang guys and Camaro guys, they want you to choose one or the other. No, but see, that's, that's what puts like, me in a weird spot, because I'm never like, I'm not really biased, you know what I mean? Right, right. You know, I had a Hellcat at one point, right. so... But Mustang's always been kind of like my flavor, but I would, I, I would drive this every day if I could and I mean, love dude, it I just had, the same. If I had the money... I would get one of each, to be honest with you. Well, that's my goal, I, eventually. I would get one of each. If we get rich and famous off of YouTube, which, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's not going to happen. Yeah. But. I um, got the sequential lights, you know. They, uh, Camaros and Coffee NorCal sent that to me. They did, they put in the LED reflectors for me, but I haven't really had a chance to use them. There really is it's no really exhaust cool. They have a DRL on it and everything. It's, yeah. It's nice. Well, I try to keep it somewhat show car and somewhat race car. Also, yes. I don't just want a full dedicated race car. I want something that people are gonna enjoy and look at when uh, you know it's at a show or something. But she's coming together. We'll go inside and check out the engine in a second. Yeah. All right. It's all good. How's it going, uh, Mr. Xander Thirteen? Over here. How you doing? How you doing? Nice to meet you. You too, man. Yeah. What, are you, what are you doing over here? Uh Putting together is Mr. Motor Flyer's engine. Well, we found your engine. We found my engine. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Let me yeah. Get it here too. All right, Johnny boy. What do we got? All right. So, uh, no, I just finished cleaning up your engine, and I just uh, installed your upper bearings, which can be count kind of counterintuitive, but the engines flipped upside down so. fair enough okay. <laughs> um, i see the massive amounts of bleeding over here yeah it's all lube yep, yep. You gotta keep everything nice and lubricated you know, in this case like that. i i gave your cylinders a quick hone okay. and uh i cleaned that up with some penetrating oil yeah i can see that um but yeah now they're so nice and smooth though. sweet i mean mm. they weren't bad before but it's it's good to give them that fresh contact surface when you're oh yeah fresh right. pistons and rings right right yeah, I'm actually, I'm, I'm just about to drop your crank in. Yeah, that's what they told me. So I was like, oh, let me run in here quick. Yeah, I, I was hoping you would get here for <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah, I told you I have decent, decent timing. It's my beautiful crank Not right there in the corner. So with your forged rods, we don't want to take any weight out of the rods. And right. We really don't want to take any weight out of the forged pistons. Right. So actually, what they did here, I'll put it up on the bench so you can check it out. Okay. Is they actually, they drill these holes to take out weight where they need to pull weight. And sometimes really? they'll actually, you know, add some weld to add a little weight. Okay. But. That's interesting. They're yeah. not even all the same depth either. No, no, that's because it needed a little more, a little less weight right. in those spots. So they chose to do that over taking away from the piston and rod, basically. Right. Cause oh, it, okay. it keeps the strength up. So this does nothing to the, this is legit. I mean, that's cool. To do oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. That's why I'm, I'm. No, it's, it's totally legit. Okay. That's that's interesting. So, yeah, it's it's mostly all uh, out of the top and the bottom here. Okay, I see. But, it. I see yeah. the bottom. Well, I mean, they know what they're doing. I don't. I don't own a, You know. Yeah. I don't own a crank shop, so I they just definitely uh, know what they're doing. It's a lot of lube used in that's the fun, beginning. <laughs> Want to put some sexy music in for you? I got you do that. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me like some sexy sax man or something. <laughs> Straight Kenny G. <laughs> Things massive. Yes. If you ever wanted to see what it was like to put a uh, crank into an LT1 engine, well, you just saw it. Now, in all fairness, this does deserve some music. It really this does. This part right here, it really, you know, you're really getting in there. Just got to work it in. Yeah, man. Now, those are the AR, ARP studs? Yes. Okay. Just want to make sure I got my knowledge down. Yep, trying to learn so, along with it. You so know. you got the the four studs here, right? And then two one stud, taller, two is smaller, and then one stud goes in on the sides on each side. Okay, over here on that. Little, yeah, little yeah, that little right hole there. there. Yep, I got it. Okay, gotta tell you, it feels good to see you know it coming back together. You know what I mean? <laughs> we're here just, and we're just, talking about it, and there's work being done. And yeah, it's yeah, not, oh, it's still at it's, the machine shop. Yeah, basically, it just feel not in that sense, but more in just like. I don't know, man. Like, you know, like when when something goes really drastically wrong with your car, yeah. 
you feel like the, the whole fucking world is over. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? But then to see it coming together kind of makes you realize the world's not over, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, this yeah. might actually... Uh, new beginnings. New beginning, yeah. Yeah, that, that's something that, uh, yeah, they don't, yeah. That we haven't talked about yet, yeah. is uh, this engine that's going in the car that you guys just saw in the beginning of the video. Mm -hmm. There's a race. A big one. Tell us about it. So, me and Stang Mode have been kind of... Not really hyping it, but it's it's a lot of talk, a lot of talk back and forth on yeah. YouTube comments and on messaging. Should we it's do all it? Love. Should we not? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's friendly love. competition. We just yeah. went head to head. Yeah. So, uh, but this this is different. So, like when you guys went head to head, it was Ford versus Ford, Mustang versus Mustang. This is Mustang. Ford versus Chevy. This is classic, like Ford versus Chevy. This is the Camaro the, Mustang. Yes, this is like the pinnacle. This is a battle that's been going on for this since the creation basically. of these cars. Yeah, so. This is something I think a lot of people would want to see. Um, and even though a lot of people, just so anybody who's new on your channel right. doesn't know, yes, due to what happened to my cylinder two with the spinning of the rod bearing, this uh, we are building the bottom end, we're forging it and all that stuff. But it's not, we're not gaining any power. Like, it's still the same power I made before. No, you're just preparing for the future, but you're not Basically, seeing any benefit so, really right now. Exactly. So for those who are saying... Oh, well, he has a built motor. He's going to beat Stangmo because he has a built motor. There's no power gain here. If anything, we're probably actually losing a little bit of power because of the compression, uh, lowering compression. Um, so I think it's pretty fair. You know, Mustangs have a little bit of a higher power ratio. Right. I have a little bit of a higher torque ratio. Yeah, torque wins races too. Yeah, you know so I, mean? I think um, a lot of people are going to say, well, you have a cam. Well, you have four cams. You don't see me bitching, you know? So, <laughs> <laughs> it's just about Yeah, I mean, that's true. It's like, you know... We're we, still using push rods. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's old technology, really. Yeah. But it's it's tried and true, and it's worked for... It's very tried and ever. true. So, you know, when people say that, it kind of just make that troll, you know, joke back. But I think it's a pretty a pretty good, you know, comparison. He has suspension work, which should hopefully help him. Yes. Um, I have none. I just have the converter. Yeah. So that'll, you know, get me back. That'll put him ahead a little bit. But I have the... I have the torque upper hand so it's actually going to be closer than people think you know i think it's going to be really i think it'll be a good show i yeah, think it'll be a good show, be a good show. Yeah. so but be prepared so follow him Please. links in description and uh you know, staying is mode as well you get yeah. to see it and then maybe yeah. i'll get to be there too maybe i'll Oh, I don't know if I'll drive up there, but uh, maybe we'll fly. <laughs> <laughs> After what happened to my car. See, I didn't want to bring it up again, but you brought it up. I did bring it up again. Yes. It, it still hurts. I heard about it. I'm sorry for you, loss. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, thanks. It, it still hurts. But no, we'll, 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 uh, uh, we'll make it fun. You know, it's all friendly. Like I said, it's all love. And uh, we'll have a good time. Yeah. We'll definitely have a good time. All that friendly competition. Mm -hmm. But uh, at the end of the day, we shake hands. We're all friends. And yeah. it's all about the car fashion. And like I said, I love Mustangs personally. If I was rich, I would have all three. I would have a Mustang Challenger and a... 100%. Yes, absolutely. Well, like on, on for my car, you guys know, um, right. I bought it for, for the intention of like not going crazy with it, but right. we, we know how that works out. Right. So well, once you do one thing, you, you got to keep going. Yeah, yeah. it happens. <laughs> it's this, this weird thing that, yeah, we it's just never, the, it's the never, bug. never, ever enough. The mod bug. It never ends, yeah, right? It never does end. But, uh, yeah, I think at that point, too, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll hear very soon. Right. Need to be looking for something else on the channel, too, another right. project car. Oh, absolutely. Uh, for, for stuff like this, when something goes wrong or mm -hmm. you, you know, you hit something in the road or somebody I mean, I, you. I thought about, I, I talked to him about getting like a, maybe a, like a fourth gen Camaro, some, something that just, you know, you can maybe keep NA, do light mods well, too, something that'll sound good. I've um, thought about doing stuff like that or, or I, even an older Stang. I might know a guy. I might know a guy. I could probably leave it the way it is. It wouldn't hurt. Yeah. <laughs> this red fluid brings back haunting memories of just the other day. <laughs> uh. All right. I'll try not to laugh. It oh. does look like transmission. <laughs> yeah. I feel so bad, but you know, it does kind of does it, it does a little training fluid. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Xander. Just... All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. Uh, it's really not about me; it's about this guy right here. So go follow his channel. Honestly, you know, he's he's uh, he's growing and he's doing some wicked stuff to his his car. Wicked and, is an uh, understatement. <laughs> wicked is an understatement. Yeah, but no motor fires. We're gonna check him out. So definitely go do do so. Thank you. And uh, you know, subscribe to my that. channel too if you like this kind of stuff and these collaborations because we got Sang Mode over there. We work together we share, often. You know, we share a fair amount of subscribers. I have a lot of Mustang people on my channel. 
I know you have some Camaro people on your channel. You know, it's all love. Yeah, it, it is. And especially as we get deeper into this this YouTube adventure, right. you know, we're all becoming friends and we'd like right. to take all of you guys along with us Absolutely. for the ride. So anyway, Absolutely. that's going to do it. And I will see everybody in the next one. See you guys later. I need Let's these. You better beat that meat a lot. I'm going to beat that meat a lot. <laughs> Big time. Big time. Dude, this is... Uh... This is going to be crazy. Yeah, most of, most of the tread's still there. I Just, still got yeah, plenty. Got Don't do what I did at the uh, subscriber meet. No, you I'm not going to do like an epic, crazy <laughs> burnout. <laughs>